The opening scene of the movie captures the idyllic setting of a cabin in the woods where a little girl, Wen, is out collecting grasshoppers in a jar. Suddenly, a large man, Leonard, appears and approaches Wen in a friendly manner, trying to make a conversation with her. However, things take a dark turn when three more people, Sabrina, Adrian, and Redmond, emerge from the woods with menacing weapons. Wen immediately senses danger and runs back to the cabin to warn her fathers, Eric and Andrew, about the strangers outside. As they start to grow nervous, Leonard knocks on the door, claiming they are there to complete a task and need to speak with Eric and Andrew directly. The family starts to lock all the doors and windows, but it's not enough to keep the group out. In a violent struggle, Eric gets into a fight with Sabrina and falls unconscious, while Andrew manages to beat Redmond in a brutal confrontation. Despite their efforts, the family is ultimately overpowered and subdued by the group. However, Sabrina shows a moment of compassion by tending to Eric's wound, adding a layer of complexity to the villain's characters. In a brief flashback, Eric and Andrew visit Andrew's parents, and the tension is palpable as the two are clearly uncomfortable with their son's sexuality, unlike Eric's accepting mother. Andrew is disappointed that his parents only stayed for 45 minutes despite driving 7 hours to see them. Eric comforts him and promises that they will always be together no matter what anyone else thinks. Eric and Andrew are tied up, their hearts pounding as they listen to the group's unsettling explanation of their purpose. Meanwhile, Wen is given a sense of normalcy as cartoons are put on for her to watch. As Eric complains about his injury and sensitivity to light, Sabrina tries to soothe him with her nursing skills. The group of captors introduce themselves and their backgrounds, and Eric and Andrew can't help but wonder how these seemingly ordinary people could be capable of such violence. Leonard reveals that they've been chosen to deliver a sacrifice to ensure humanity's survival, and if they fail to choose, catastrophic events will come true. Eric and Andrew refuse to comply with the group's demands, but they soon learn that their refusal could have dire consequences. As the group explains that humanity is being judged, Eric catches a reflection in a mirror that sends chills down his spine. Sabrina steps in front of Eric to protect him, but Redmond suddenly dons a white mask and is quickly dispatched by Sabrina and Adrian. Leonard follows through with the grisly task of decapitating Redmond, leaving Eric and Andrew to wonder what they will do to survive this horrifying ordeal. In the heartwarming flashback, Eric and Andrew are overjoyed to welcome one into their family despite her cleft power. They stand by her throughout her surgery and recovery, solidifying their bond as a family. However, back in the present, their bond is being tested by the terrifying events unfolding around them. Leonard turns on the TV to reveal the catastrophic earthquakes and tsunamis wreaking havoc across the globe. Andrew suspects that they are being targeted for their sexuality, as he recognizes Redmond from a previous violent encounter. But the group denies this, insisting that their intentions are far more sinister. When attempts to flee through the basement, desperate to escape the horror unfolding around her. However, Leonard quickly catches her and brings her back to the house, cementing the family's captivity. The next morning, the smell of freshly cooked breakfast fills the air, and when wakes up to the delicious aroma. Adrian, with her line cooking skills, has prepared a scrumptious meal for Wen, hoping to win her over. As the day progresses, the group reminds the family of their impending decision, and Adrian pleads with them to spare her son's life. She paints a vivid picture of her visions, telling them about the pain and horror she has been experiencing. Despite her heartfelt appeal, Andrew remains firm on their decision not to sacrifice anyone. Leonard and Sabrina, sensing the tension in the room, take matters into their own hands and violently end Adrian's life. As they watch the news on TV, the family begins to piece together the strange events that have been unfolding around them. Andrew realizes that reports of the deadly virus have been circulating for months, leaving him to doubt the group's intentions even further. Eric and Andrew were tied up, with no escape in sight. But Andrew had a plan, and he confided in Eric that his binds were loosening, giving him a small window of opportunity to break free. To help their cause, Wen secretly passed Eric a knife and waited for her cue. Leonard and Sabrina made another attempt to convince the couple to make their choice, but Eric had a trick up his sleeve. He signaled to Wen to throw a tantrum, causing a distraction that allowed Eric to cut himself free. This allowed Andrew to make a run for their car to retrieve his gun. Sabrina was quick to follow and managed to injure Andrew's leg, but he fought back by throwing dirt in her face and making his way to the car. As he tried to load his gun, Sabrina attempted to break in before stabbing him to the side. However, Andrew fired his gun, forcing Sabrina to drop her weapon and retreat. A flashback revealed the reason for Andrew's gun training, an attack at a bar by a man who resembled Redmond, with a bigger beard and was later imprisoned. It was a traumatic experience that inspired Andrew to take matters into his own hands. As the tension escalated, it seemed that the couple would do whatever it took to survive, even if it meant resorting to violence. 
As they return to the cabin, Andrew confronts Leonard with his gun, but Sabrina's sudden appearance startles him and he accidentally shoots her. Leonard beheads her and Andrew finds Redmond's wallet on his body, confirming that he was Rory O'Bannon, Andrew's past attacker. With no means of transportation, Andrew forces Leonard into the bathroom at gunpoint to take the group's vehicle and return home. However, when Leonard breaks the bathroom window, Andrew believes he is trying to escape and shoots into the shower, but Leonard still manages to attack him despite being shot in the arm. After a brief struggle, Leonard overpowers Andrew and forces the guys to turn on the TV. Shocking news reports reveal that hundreds of airlines worldwide are experiencing failures, leading to thousands of planes suddenly crashing from the sky. Leonard eerily recites the same lines as the anchorwoman, making Andrew suspicious that everything was pre-planned. Leonard forces Eric and Andrew to make a critical decision to prevent further catastrophic events from happening. In a moment of desperation, Eric signals when to seek refuge in a nearby treehouse until someone comes for her. However, even with this pressure, the couple remains indecisive, and Leonard gives them a stern warning that they have only a few moments to act before it's too late. As a final act of desperation, Leonard slits his own throat before their eyes. The atmosphere becomes ominous as a severe storm builds up, unleashing lightning bolts that strike the ground and nearby trees, and planes continue to fall out of the sky, causing chaos and destruction. As Eric and Andrew retreat inside the house, Eric reveals to Andrew that he had seen something strange in the sun's reflection, which led him to believe that the group's prophecies may be true. Andrew begins to understand that each member of the group symbolized a different aspect of humanity, with Redmond representing malice, Adrian representing nourishment, Sabrina representing health, and Leonard representing guidance. They were the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and their deaths were necessary to prevent disaster. Eric offers to make the ultimate sacrifice, but Andrew disagrees, saying that humanity doesn't deserve saving because of their hatred and prejudice. However, Eric tells Andrew of a vision he had where the world continues to thrive, and Andrew grows old with Wen by his side, who has found love and success. With this, Eric finds peace and takes Andrew's hand so that he can shoot himself. Andrew grieves the loss of his husband and goes to retrieve Wen from the treehouse. Together, they set out to find the truck that Leonard's group arrived in. In the back seat, Andrew discovers items that confirm the group's identities. These items include a picture of Adrian with her son Charlie, proving that the visions were not just a figment of their imagination. Andrew revved up the engine of the truck and drove toward a nearby diner where a throng of people had gathered to watch the latest news. They were met with a sense of relief as the broadcast showed that the disaster had subsided, and the planes were now safely landed. The deadly virus outbreak had also slowed down, and people could finally breathe a sigh of relief. As Andrew and Wen left the diner, they were unsure of what the future held for them. However, they knew they had each other and a newfound appreciation for life. Tell us what you liked most about this film in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.